Hi, this is Zenas from Lens Advisor, and today I'm going to show you how to use add-ons in the app. We created add-ons because, as you probably know, in Shopify, you're limited to three options and only up to 100 variants per product. And for some checkout flows, you need more options than, than the stock Shopify checkout flow can allow. So this is one of the main use cases for add-ons. Add-ons can also be used for upsells. Uh, so for something like a case or gift wrapping, you can add those as upsells into the checkout flow. Uh, but for the purpose of this demo, I'm just going to add on a coding product and allow the customer to select a coding as they go through the checkout flow. I've already created some lens flows. And if I come in here, I've created under the single vision prescription type clear lenses, I've created this add-ons lens. Um, I've already set this up with a few options, and let's see what that looks like on the front end with this assigned product that I have here called Prescription Lens. So let me go through the checkout here, single vision, email later, and I'm going to select this lens. And you'll see I have the options here. When I click Save and Continue, it goes to the Review Order screen. But what I want is to have one more step there where I can choose the coding. So in order to set that up, I come over here to add-ons, create new add-on, and I'm going to call this um, coding. Add-ons can have any number of steps, but for the purpose of, purposes of this demo, I'm only going to create one step, and I'm going to name this Choose Your Coding. And in order to add products to an add-on flow, they must already be created in Shopify. In this case, I've already gone ahead and created two products in Shopify for coding, and I am going to search for them here. And I simply add these two products, and they are now going to be added to this step. For, for some customers or for some products, you will want the customer to be able to skip this step. Um, other times, maybe not. And in our case, I'm going to allow the customer to, to skip this step with the button text of no thanks. So if they don't want this coding, they can skip this. So I'm going to add this add-on and just make sure it's set up correctly. Yes, it is, okay. And in order to assign this add-on, we go back to the individual lens product and we add the, this add-on flow to that lens product. So in our case, we have the give me add-ons lens and I am going to search for that and and add this add-on flow. So now we have both options and add-ons, and let's see what that looks like on the front end. So we go through to single vision, email later, uh, give me add-ons, we select our options, and the next step we see is choose your coding. Um, and then the user can select one of these, and that gets added as a third product, which is prescription lens. Then we have our lens itself, and then we have the add-ons. When we add to cart, it'll add all three products to the cart. So like I said earlier, add-ons can be used for lots of different things. So if we wanted to change this to a coating plus case add-on flow, I can just add one more step. And in this case, I would uh, change this to choose a case and the products would be for my cases that I offer, for instance. And in this case, I don't want them to be able to skip this step. So I just click save and you'll see that now they will come through the first step, which is choose your coding and the second step, which is the case. Um, really hope that this feature is useful for you and you're able to uh, add, add more options to your lenses through the add-ons feature. Thank you.